Hi everybody! Today's focus is testing the antibacterial properties of essential oils. So in reading a lot of the comments for my cleaning videos, I always stumble upon a couple in which people ask if I could try essential oils. But I decided today to test essential oils in a slightly different way. So if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched any of my other videos, let me just give you a brief outline on how I normally test a cleaner's um, antibacterial properties, okay? What I do is I take a Petri dish, and normally I divide it up into three sections, and I'll label it A, B, and C. I'll swab an area that I want to test the cleaner on, and then I'll put that on B for before on my Petri dish. Then what I do is I'll clean the area, let's say my kitchen counter or a toilet seat or kitchen sink, with whatever cleaner I want to test, and then I swab it again and put it on A for after. By doing that, I'm able to see the bacterial growth before cleaning and after cleaning. So I'm going to take a Petri dish, and I'm going to swab probably my kitchen sink or maybe my bathroom sink, an area that I know a lot of bacteria grows, and I'm gonna put that all over the Petri dish. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop different essential oils on these different sections here that I've outlined to see if they're able to inhibit the growth of bacteria. I'm gonna test lemon, tea tree oil, peppermint, cinnamon, fractionated coconut oil, which is just like a liquid coconut oil, and I'm gonna have a control area here where I'm not gonna put any sort of essential oil. Let's see what essential oils stop the growth of bacteria. Okay, now let's look at some results. So you can see here the tea tree oil, the peppermint, and the cinnamon all have no growth in part of their section where I drop the essential oil. Then in the fractionated coconut oil, the control, there is definite growth there. Here it looks like the liquid coconut oil and the control have about the same amount of growth in their sections. The lemon seems to have less than the control and the liquid coconut, but more than the tea tree and the peppermint. Next, let's look at the swab from the toilet. So you can see here from the control, there is definite growth, but it stops here. So I'm not really certain what happened here. Then there's also a very strange looking, maybe a mold growing here on the tea tree oil section. Nothing in peppermint, nothing in cinnamon, nothing in liquid coconut. So I decided to redo this test and just continue to use just the sink bacteria. Let me show you what I did. So for the second test, I just used the kitchen sink for the bacteria because I'm pretty certain that my kitchen sink has lots of bacteria in it. This time, I divided the Petri dishes up into four sections instead of six to give each area more space. Control, peppermint, cinnamon, liquid coconut, and on the second dish, I did control, lemon, tea tree oil, and I had an extra spot, so I put a drop of bleach there. So 24 hours later, we can see some good results. So look at here, the peppermint 
right where I put the one drop, there's no growth at all. That's super cool. Right here, where I put one drop of the liquid coconut, there's no growth either. The control is total growth, which is great. And look at the cinnamon. Look at the huge space that is surrounding the cinnamon drop. You can actually still see the cinnamon drop. Then I look at the next dish where I had the lemon, the tea tree, and the bleach. And again, I'm seeing this weird thing where there's just a little bit of growth around the control and then nothing in lemon, nothing in bleach, and nothing in tea tree. So I decided to do a separate dish for lemon and tea tree just to give it another try to see if it's really inhibiting the growth or if I had a problem with my swabbing. So I put my line down the center here. I swabbed the entire plate and I dropped two drops of tea tree oil over here and you can see that it completely inhibited the growth over here, which is awesome. And for lemon, I did the same thing. I had a dividing line down the center here. I swabbed the entire plate and I dropped the lemon right here and you can see it inhibited the growth over here and it's a little less over on this side here. Every essential oil that I tested inhibited the growth of bacteria on the petri dishes, which I thought was super cool. So I would say that lemon, tea tree oil, peppermint, cinnamon, and even liquid coconut does have some antibacterial properties and most certainly can inhibit the growth of bacteria. I was most impressed with cinnamon as it had the largest area that had no growth around when I dropped one drop down. I thought that was really great. I still would like to test these oils in a do-it-yourself homemade cleaner. So I will be getting to that, but it might take a couple months because I do have quite a bit of a backlog of other um, cleaners that I'm going to test for some viewers. So if you like these videos, please hit that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to see some of my results before I'm able to edit and upload to YouTube, join my Patreon community. Um, I had the results for these up probably about a month before I've been able to edit and release this video. If you'd like to connect, check out my Instagram page or comment below here. And if you'd like to support my work, you can buy me a coffee. Links are all in the description below. But thank you for watching. Have yourselves a great day.